Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the BR65CE from Blue Ridge. The BR65CE is a grand auditorium shaped guitar with a solid Sitka spruce top and laminated Santos rosewood back and sides. The mahogany neck is topped with a 650mm scale length Santos rosewood fingerboard with a nut width of 1 and 3 quarter inches. With the exception of the satin finished neck, the entire guitar has a gloss natural finish Electronics are provided by a B-band T35 pickup, and the guitar has an RRP of £699. Let's have another listen to the guitar now, and then please join me afterwards for my thoughts. Grabbing the BR65C for the first time, the first thing that caught my eye was the silking in the Sitka top, which is always a good indication that the wood has been nicely quarter sawn. The grain on the back and sides has some attractive figuring too, although peering through the sound hole it would appear the inner laminate is a mahogany or sapili type wood, so I don't know how thick the Santos rosewood outer layer is. The rest of the guitar sticks pretty much to the classic 28 styling of a popular American brand, with the exception of the more ornate headstock inlay, which I think just skirts the line between cool and kitsch. Generally, the guitar seems well made. There's a couple of bridge pins that aren't quite sitting right, but otherwise everything is neat and tidy. The action is noticeably high though. I measured it at just over 3mm on the bass side and just under 3mm on the treble. There is plenty of saddle left for adjustments, but it's always a shame when I can spot a high action before I've even played a note. Despite the action, I was very pleased with the tone of the guitar, which in many ways matches my expectations given the nod to some classic American guitars in the design. A strong bass response with some rumbling overtones, a bit of scoop in the mids, and highs with some sparkle to them. I think the laminate back and sides are robbing the guitar of a little richness. It doesn't quite seem to have the depth I'd expect given the body size, but it's a versatile and recognisable tone that suited strumming and finger picking alike. 
Through a small acoustic amp, I found the B-Band pickup to be noticeably more pleasing than many other under saddles, with less plink on the top and less compression on the attack. Hopefully that comes across via the DI we're recording through today, but as someone who is not generally a fan of under saddles, I found the plugged in tone from this guitar surprisingly enjoyable. What I didn't enjoy though was the setup. As I previously mentioned, the action at the 12th fret is pretty high and the playing experience really suffered because of this. The neck is quite slim and the frets are high too, and whilst this combo would normally make for a sleek playing experience, it was really hard to judge this due to the high action. As I said before, there is plenty of saddle left, so the action could easily come down to a more standard 2 to 2.5 millimeters, so it is a bit of a shame the action is still so high from the factory. At £699, the BR65CE sits at a point where you can get some all solid wood offerings, as well as being close to the price of lower end models from some of the big brands. In my view, that sits in a tricky area of the market. The guitar is certainly very nicely made, with the top wood seemingly a particularly nice piece, and the sound is very satisfying too, so with the caveat being that this particular guitar would benefit from a good setup, I think it's fairly priced. The market for guitars that sit between £500 and £1,000 is highly competitive, and there is a wide variety of brands and models available. Based on build quality and its versatile classic tone, not to mention the better than many under saddle pickup, I think the BR65C holds its own in the marketplace and assuming that other examples have a slightly better factory setup, I think many players will enjoy its combination of classic looks with modern features such as a cutaway, slim neck and built in electronics. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be kept up to date when we post new videos and I look forward to seeing you next time.